Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars, not a figure review, diorama sort of review. Again, just sort of going through a couple of items that I haven't reviewed um, over the last sort of six to 12 months as I'm sort of sorting through my collection, getting ready for shelving to come in. And uh, yeah, while I don't have the, the figure that goes with this, uh, that is currently in the shop at work, um, I was gifted the, uh, the, the, the bunker here um, from my boss, who was very kind enough to uh, send this home with me on the proviso that the figure stay in the shop. And that's really, that's cool. I love seeing that figure up there. It wasn't one that it was like super desperate to go into my collection. Um, one day I might pick one up, but um, yeah, for the most part, I'm not too fast. I've got enough scout troopers and stuff to populate uh, and or when I get it all together. But I wanted to talk about this base because this is uh, the first one that's been out, first indoor bunker since Power of the Force. Um, and what they've got here is something just, you know, it's super cool. It's really nice. I'm looking forward to, you know, having a nice central sort of diorama set for my indoor figures when I start setting up, you know, all the rebels, the Ewoks, the scout troopers, the stormtroopers, all that kind of thing. I'm really looking forward to having them all set up. Um, so yeah, I just love this thing. I think it's great. It's something I've always wanted in my collection was an indoor bunker. I never did get the power of the force version. Um, and it's it's a nice piece. It's uh, it was quite simple to put together. Um, obviously, it come in all different parts. We have two sets of doors. Um, sort of grass and mossy stuff around the sides looks good. We do have like a little bit more of a flexible plastic up here for these parts. Not a lot of paint detail on them, unfortunately, but you know a little bit of a wash over them with some like some browns or a darker green. Um, just to bring a little bit extra life into that would be cool. Um, but again, not too worried. Um, what I do like about it is Hasbro now has this, has a, you know, a basic sculpt with this stuff off. So you could, you know, effectively do like a rogue one door. Um, I don't know. You could do anything, but I don't know if you're willing, you could probably spend a bit of time getting rid of those and taking that all off yourself just to display, have a different display. On the inside, obviously, we've got two working doors. We have the blast doors and then the uh, the regular doors. And of course, those ones are going to go open first. So just a couple of handles in there for those. And then those. So no super, no, it's nothing extra detailed in there. You know, you can, I don't know if you really wanted to stash some Imperials hiding in out in there if you wanted to, but you know, for the most part, I reckon this will be facing the back of a shelf like so but yeah there are some nice details in there let's see if we can get some more light inside of it so here's the computer terminal this little hatch actually opens up so Han can do his uh, rewiring trickery now that that's actually a really cool little feature I, I love that they added that in and uh this little this little one here down here. So we can zoom in a bit. So yeah, this little little wheel will flip up and around, so R2 can uh, do his thing. Eventually electrocute himself. Wait, no, he doesn't. He gets shot. But that's cool. I really like that they've done that. Nice, nice addition. Nice little attention to detail there, to be honest. And this side is just, yeah, more of the same thing, but it doesn't have the uh, movable parts, which is fine. Um, that's all just sort of molded there. But that's cool. I like it. I think it's a cool display piece. If you get some more greenery and like fake plants and stuff and put them around, I reckon that'll look sweet. Yeah, you can put the, uh, Close the interior doors and then the blast doors. Open the blast door, open the blast door. Oh, wrong movie, but that's okay. So it's a nice piece. Really looking forward to setting this one up and being able to being able to share what it looks like on display, filled with characters, and you know, I'm looking at getting some, you know, fake greenery and stuff and spot it around just to fill out the scene a little bit more once I eventually get them all set up. I'm really looking forward to doing that with some of these dioramas that we're taking a look at this week. Um, yeah, 
I'm I'm pretty chuffed on this one. Again, I will, if I ever get the uh, Scout Trooper, the Nick Sant, uh, I will definitely do a review. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy just to talk about the uh, Endor bunker for today. I think it's really cool. Nice display piece. Fits well with some figures. Um, again, once they're all out and about, <laughs> it would be even better. You know what? Have one here. So I know he's on a stand, but there's a start. This is my sort of semi-custom Han Solo Endor. Did a little bit of work to him, did my review on this Han Solo Return of the Jedi just last week. So please, if you want to know how I did what I did, check it out. But yeah, perfect. Nice way to finish up the video. Han Solo in the Endor bunker. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Drop a comment down below and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Till then, may the force be with you always.